go for a full one defeat home swing today. It was a tough, tough afternoon all, all round, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, it starts off with the. Obviously, they're a class opposition. You know, they've got into a real groove today, and um, we've worked hard in, in the preparation side of it. You know, and um, we knew what we were about. We watched videos of them, went into detail. But yeah, you have to try and execute a game plan, and, and um, they were too good for us. For, you know, for the first 70 minutes, and, and wrapped it up. Against side lights, we lose a mention. The sort of shape they have, the way they play the possession, we're going to be sort of chasing the game at times. Do you, do you think we sort of struggle to sort of contend with that and actually impose ourselves on, on the game today? Yeah, I, I think it would be with, with all the injuries that we're suffering at the minute. I don't think you can go toe to toe in a possession based game, you know, because um, they're into that groove at the minute. And so. Um, but you have to try and find a way of winning the game, not just hanging on. You know, I think if we just engage it, you know, and, and close down at the halfway line against these, they proved in the first game when they went to a back four um, that you can, they can grind you down. And um, we haven't proved over a period of time now that we can do that kind of a job and stay safe at the back. So, you know, we wanted to uh, apply ourselves, you know, and show intensity high up the pitch, and um, to the best of our ability at the minute. And um, you know, we were in the game first 20 minutes, but then the prize is open and we allowed a, a, a cross in, which was which was a great cross at the end of the day and difficult to defend at the far post. And to credit the side, though, obviously, you know, sort of 4 0, had to cut a drop. I didn't think they did. Um, and, you know, we, we got a consolation goal, which was deserved. There was some impetus from Simon Power, obviously, setting up the goal as well. Mm. So it must have been pleasing to take something away from the game. Of course, you know, it, it, Simon made a, a big difference when he came on and. Um, we need to, he needs to be able to get on the pitch now, doesn't he? You know, it's, it's been a bit disappointing from his point of view that um, he's had a, a dozen injuries this year. You know, it's been frustrating. It's been frustrating for him. He's just had a, I think one or two training sessions this week to get back in. So from the start, it was probably too much to ask uh, of him. But um, he did well off the bench, and I'm sure he's going to get an opportunity. So after a defeat like that, we've got a quick turnaround. How? How easy or difficult is it to lift the side? I mean, we've got a very quick turnaround, which allows you the opportunity mm. to sort of get back out there. Of course, you know, there's an emphasis on us to to stay consistent. You know, to to earn that continually earn that trust from players that actually they're not in a bad place. You know, we're, we're not going to um, absolutely you know get into them. We know that we've got a, another big challenge ahead in Northampton on Monday. Um, uh, but this for us is that now it's, we, we, we're actually interested in in people's people holding the nerve, staying strong, um, because we know the grind of League 2, you know, especially with fans, away followings and, and home fans that probably be well, 13,000 at Northampton, you know, and it, we're, we're playing big clubs and this is everything we wanted, but with it comes challenges like we're coming up against, especially with eight and nine players out. And finally, there's a tough moment early in the second half with um, injury to Ryan Farfield, it's a very serious one, um, obviously a lot of pain, is, is there any, any word on how, how he is or, you know, at this stage? Yeah, well, they've just got in with some more oxygen there, and now I think for for Ryan, he's um, he's in a lot of pain. Um, so you know we've just got to get behind him. You know I think it's a muscle being ripped off the bone, and, and it's left him in a you know a really bad state. And um, you know we've got so much sympathy for him because he's epitomised um, everything that we want to see in terms of uh, attitude and spirit. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Cheers.